blues. They're not just a great way to sing out all those complicated, messed up feelings you keep down about being fatherless. They're the second half of this epic. But, you know, singing blues would be perfect for this team. They've been through a lot. Maybe true. Unlike the Reds, they've suffered numerous casualties and are constantly plagued by Project Freelancer's experiments. You know how they were experimenting with AI? They could only get one, an alpha based on the project's director. Shit went down and they had to hide the alpha where nobody would ever find it. Apparently, this box canyon in the middle of nowhere seemed the perfect fit. This is Blue Team. Leonard Church, Lavernius Tucker, Agent Texas, Sheila, who is a living tank, and Caboose. After losing their original captain to a, uh, deadly allergy incident, Church reluctantly stepped up to be the blue team's unofficial leader. Spoiler alert, he's the secret alpha AI. I don't know what makes him so special, though. He's a cranky asshole who's terrible at literally everything he does. He doesn't even know he's an AI. He thinks he's a ghost. But remember that 50 megaton bomb? Church's team all survived it too, including himself, while it was inside his own body. What the hell? Tucker wants you to think he's a ladies' man. However, after careful, painstaking analysis, we have determined that he has very little gain, being that his most frequent hookup is a rock. He's kind of a badass, though. He's stabbed the meta, sure you can have Cyclops in the balls, and held off a small army of mercenaries by himself. He even wields a kick-ass energy sword that only works for him. But for the biggest badass of the bunch, look no further than Agent Texas. Tex is an anomaly. She's not really a blue, but a freelancer assigned to the team through circumstance. Yet she's also not really a freelancer, but a robot duplicate hosting an artificial intelligence fragment split from the Alpha as a clone of the director's late wife, Allison. Yeah, duh guys, how'd you not see that coming from when the show started? Unfortunately, the text fragment is specifically based on the memory of Allison's death and the concept of failure. This means that Tex is literally programmed to fail. Now, this doesn't mean she can't win fights or that her team can't succeed on missions. It's more of a personal defect. It sure hasn't stopped her from kicking some serious ass. Tex was number one on the freelancer leaderboard, easily caught this giant crate, and could even flip over Sheila. You know, the 66-ton tank with a mind of its own? The perfect companion for Caboose's team killing sprees. Ah, uh, really makes me miss my pet tank. Boomstick, there's no such thing as pet tanks. Uh, boomstick, there's no such thing. Watch this, idiot. I strapped a bazooka to the back of my pet snapping turtle. Come here, Mr. Snappy. What? No, no, what are you doing? Is that thing loaded? No, Wiz. I strapped an unloaded bazooka to a turtle. 